Hey, I'm Carolyn Moore, the founding and lead pastor of Mosaic, a United Methodist congregation in Evans, Georgia. We have a reputation for being the kind of community that welcomes those who fall through the cracks of more traditional congregations. We often say we have the gift of hanging on to people long past good sense. Our people are solid, loving, welcoming, gifted, and some of them have lived hard lives, but wow, they are givers. Once a month, we become a kind of mission outpost for our community. We offer prayer and job support, cancer support, medical screenings, other things that might help families in crisis. We see about 100 families on that one day every month, and we follow up to encourage them into community. We've created a spiritual community with low and no income adults with disabilities. We worship and pray and study scripture together, and we are often their ride to doctor's offices and grocery stores. And every day we are challenged to hold Jesus together with these good things we're doing. It's what we call the Wesleyan synthesis, because if those we serve practically don't go someplace spiritually, what would make us any different from any other nonprofit? Isn't that the question Moses asked the Lord in Exodus 33? Is it not in your going with us that we are distinct from all other people on the earth? Surely we are supposed to be more than just good works. Surely the Church of Jesus Christ is meant to be a demonstration of God's kingdom on earth. So about a year ago, we hired a director of adult discipleship and that move was absolutely counterintuitive by the world's standards. Heather is her name. She's been with us for eight or nine years, and for most of those years, she played hokey pokey with the church. She put her foot in when she was clean, but she'd disappear when she was using. Heather was a meth addict. At the end of it, after years of using, she was living in a cheap hotel, cooking and selling meth. Things were rough for her. One night, she cried out to God. She said, Lord, I can't do this anymore. I need you to get me out of this, whatever it takes. And God heard that prayer. And two days later, Jesus showed up in her hotel room. He was wearing a cop uniform, but there is no mistaking this was the hand of God. Heather was arrested. She got 18 months in what we at Mosaic like to call in-depth Bible study. That's state prison. She went through a drug rehab program while she was in, and God really got hold of her. When she got out, she came home to Mosaic and she was welcomed with open arms. She got into our recovery program. She got into a small group. She went through our leadership incubator. And she began to lead her own recovery group. She discovered a love for group life and a passion for leadership development. She has distinguished herself among us as a spiritual leader. Every Sunday, our front row is full of her friends, addicts and former addicts inspired by her story. So when it came time for us to hire a director of adult discipleship, there was one obvious choice. So yeah, the person who coordinates our small group life is a felon and we wouldn't have it any other way. Stories like Heather's, this is the substance of Wesleyan Orthodoxy. We believe in the kind of religion James was talking about. It is that passion for serving others without letting the world get the best of us. This is what makes Wesleyan theology so attractive, this insistence that its doctrines remain married to its practice. And ultimately, that's what this Wesleyan covenant is about. It's about doing ministry and doing it better and doing it in ways that highlight our brand of theology because that's what we have to offer the body of Christ. We are solid Wesleyan, Orthodox, Spirit-led, Jesus-loving, people-loving, mission-bent followers of Jesus who truly passionately hunger for the whole world to be our parish. Brothers and sisters, if your heart is as my heart, Give me your hand.